All right, uh, the local time is 4.29. Looks like things are moving a little slow, but uh, I don't know. Really don't want to start the truck too fast or too soon, actually. I've been running on fumes for a while. Let's see, the last time I fuel was in Hagerstown, Maryland. Hagerstown delivered to Louisville. Picked up in Louisville, that delivered to Delaware, Ohio. Delaware, Ohio to Fairfield, Ohio. Picked up a load there. And now here. I don't know how many miles that is, and if you remember the last time I fueled, I didn't really squeeze every last drop in there. But right now, it, the red light's been on for at least 50 miles. And so, as I mentioned uh, earlier, I am... Um, I'm gonna fill it up right over here at the pilot in Shelbyville. Uh, Carlos Hernandez wanted to know what triggers a driver or me to scale a truck. Well, first of all, it's common knowledge that if you're below, if your trailer is fully loaded from front to back, all the way, you know, from front to back, and you're probably lower than 38,000 pounds, and as long as your tandems are about the fifth hole, there's no way you can really get overweight. Although, with 38,000 pounds of a fuel load, can certainly overweight you in your axles um, so but judging to what I did yesterday I just felt it was a little heavy uh, I guess you could somehow I don't know after years of experience you can certainly get that little feeling of how heavy you are and what else could I add to that Carlos um, okay I like yesterday we were way overweight we were at 1400 pounds overweight on our trailer uh, axles so it's kind of like a seesaw. If you're, if this is the head of the truck, this is the trailer, if your tandems are all the way in the middle, this is gonna be really heavy, right? But as soon as you slide the tandems to the back of the trailer, then there's more or less weight in the front now and less weight in the back, so if you're heavy in the tandems or your trailer axles you need to shift all that weight or some of the weight forward so you pull the truck up slide the tandems backwards more weight over here remember if you're in the middle you're carrying the whole weight of the of the truck but if uh if the more you slide it backwards the more weight is gonna go to the front the less weight you have to carry in the back now again if your weight if you're overweight in the front and your trailer your tandem axles are here you need to pick up you need to slide the tandems forward to carry some of that weight off the front of the drives kind of like a seesaw Remember when you had to uh, when you had to seesaw with somebody that was heavier or lighter than you? You had to kind of adjust your weight. 
think of it that way. I also had another question about if I was going to go buy a truck. If I wanted to buy a truck, what truck would I buy? I think a T680, hands down. Now that's a truck what I want. That's not necessarily what I need. It all depends on what you're planning to do with it. Obviously, if you're going to be driving a flatbed, you don't really want, you know, a T680 with all the drag up there. And besides, if you're driving a flatbed, chances are you're probably not going to want that 13.6 because you're probably going to go inside buildings, constructions, low overpass and you can't afford to have that 13.6 up there so again the truck that I want is a T680 are those Peterbelts like that over there they're nice they're, they're pretty nice to look at but uh, they don't have a whole lot of room inside now, if you're into showing off your truck, if that's your thing, then that's your prerogative. But if you're like me, you, I pretty much care more of the inside of a truck than the outside of a truck. I don't need to impress people that I don't know. <laughs> and, yeah. Uh, it, I'm a practical, you know, person, and uh, I just rather have all the rooms and the T680 has been proven to be really reliable, durable, at least for the last. How long did I drive Miss Blue? About two years, and. It looks nice to me, you know, it's not that bad looking truck. So, what else is there? I've been getting a lot of emails and comments and moral support on uh, from a lot of you guys. Unfortunately, I have been so tired and uh, been so busy I couldn't keep up with it yet let's see I got emails from uh, let's see who do I got I on the Republic David James David James writes AJBG hey, I was wondering what trucking company or what kind of truck should I be considering being an owner operator because I wanted to buy a Kenworth T680 there you go or a Peterbilt 387 however my father wants to be in trucking as well and I looking for a truck that's great for him like a Western Star 5700 XE or Kenworth W900 Man, you're talking high dollar trucks there and other truck options but I don't know what and I don't know and can you give me advice on trucks a trucking company should be trucking for and thank you for listening yeah David I think I pretty much answered uh, that question Although, as far as the W900, if you really had the money and if you really had the, the passion of uh, driving and you're gonna, you know you're going to be in it for the long haul, yeah, W900 is definitely the truck to go. But those trucks are very expensive. Those, are, those trucks are not your first truck. 
may not even be the second truck. Those trucks are, that's after what, three, five years on the road and you, you already know what you're going to do and you know you're going to stick with it. As far as trucking companies, I don't know. Uh, there's so many out there. It really depends on what you're hauling. From what I heard, Landstar is a pretty good company. Snyder has this. Snyder has this program where you pretty much dispatch yourself. They have an online load board that you can pre-plan yourself and pick up the loads you want. And a lot of people like that because it it gives them a little bit more control of what they do. And I think uh, Landstar is a little bit like that. that but then again, I don't know. I, I'm not I'm not exactly this God asked. I, you guys know me. I'm not. <laughs> I'm not even close to being not the smartest egg in the basket. <laughs> yeah. um, but I, you know, as I said, if you're just getting into it, and for that very first year, you're not gonna know what you're, you're gonna feel, you know, if it's for you or not. Uh, but hey, hey, if you have unlimited funds and if you just want to go out here and have fun with it, yeah, why not? Live out your dream. But I guarantee you, if if you're out here to make a money, make some money, and try to make some money or make a living and you don't have the unlimited funds, those W900s are, well, they're like Air Force One. Uh, you don't really need them. Well, the left lanes are moving, but the right lane is not. Anyway, um, I'll give you guys an, a fuel update once we get to the pilot. So, I'll catch you guys later. Peace.